hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is Desh and i'm back with another tutorial so in our last video we created the base mesh for this fire pit in maya and exported it as fpx today we are going to import it in zbrush and sculpt some high poly details so in zbrush i'll go to this import and navigate to my fpx file and open I'm not going to select anything here and just click OK. Now I'm going to draw my file here like this and press this edit button or you can also press T. Now we have this file here. I'm going to change the view to perspective. And let's change the material. This red looks really bland. So I'll change it to this matte cap white cavity. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to geometry and I'm going to subdivide it. Let's try four or five and I'm going to delete the lower subdivision. As you can see, we have a lot of geometry in our mesh. Let's go to dynamic mesh and I'm going to increase the resolution to something like this. This is pretty much very high. I'm going to click on this dynamic mesh. It's going to take a few seconds to work. And we are done. I'm going to turn this off and now we can work on our asset so now what we are going to do is we are going to go to transform and activate symmetry and we're going to use this to sculpt on both sides simultaneously so if i sculpt here you're going to see the same result on the other side so now that we have activated symmetry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to brushes and select this trim dynamic here. And I'm going to change my brush size. and just damage the corners like this not too much just a little bit so that we have this worn effect repeat the same thing here i'm going to change my brush size a little bit
so we are done with this part and we're going to later add the noise on the surface so that it looks more like a galvanized or a hammered metal type surface so this is pretty much the procedure that we are going to follow and i'm going to repeat the same thing here on the legs and on the bars so for this we can turn down the size of my brush and just start sculpting like this you can increase the intensity a little bit just damage the hard edges in the corners like this we are going to pretty much use the trim dynamic brush here maybe uh, a little bit of mallet but we're going to use that later in this tutorial and we are done with this one as well so you can repeat the same process on all these legs we are done with three of them and we just need to work on this last one you can smooth these part out you can press shift and just stroke your brush here to fix the mesh
and as for this part we're going to just add few strokes like this and we are pretty much done so since we are done with all these part we can start working on these cylinders here and uh, this is going to be the same procedure for this one and what you can do is you can just use the trim dynamic brush and if you want to add more damage then what you can do is you can go to light box go to your brushes and here you'll see this trim open this and you'll see this uh, trim smooth border if you select this it's going to add a lot of damage to your corners if you use it like this so let's change the brush size and see if it works here this but i think this is not suitable for a prop like this i'm going to go back to this trim dynamic and work on this part here you don't have to add too much damage to all the props you work in zbrush but uh, this fire pit is an ancient fantasy prop so this would be damaged in the corners as it would be very old and rustic so that's why we are using a lot of trim brush on the corners like this and removing all these hard edges So we are done with this part and we are going to repeat the same process for all these cylinders. So I'm going to keep this video very short and we are going to finish this prop in ZBrush in 3 or 4 segments. So all the videos are going to be in real time. You don't have to skip any step. So in the next one we are going to sculpt the rest of it and after that we will add some surface noise and some more damages to make it look more realistic and uh, i think i'll leave this video here if you like this then make sure to drop a like on this video and if you're watching my channel for the first time you can subscribe to my channel also you can follow me on instagram and join my discord server all the links are given in the description so i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching